problem 11.42. So we have a disk that is initially stationary. So its angular momentum is initially zero. Um, and then this is a graph of the torque that acts on it from time zero to 20 seconds. This scale of this is set by up here is four Newton meters. And what we want to do uh, is use the fact that angular momentum is the time integral of torque to find its angular momentum at 7 and 20 seconds. So and since we have a graph and the graph is conveniently composed of just line segments, we can think of this as just a bunch of rectangles and either trapezoids or triangles on top of rectangles. So to get our torque up to seven seconds, we just find you know all of this area geometrically in here. And doing that, we find at the, 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 the seven seconds, it's 24 kilogram meters squared per second. And then adding up, and 20 seconds is over here, so adding up the rest of this, and then subtracting off this area because it's negative, and the integral is the signed area, we find that its angular momentum is 1.5 kilogram meters squared per second.